uh, Doc Hydro here. Been a while since I've done a video. I wanted to uh, cover something that uh, one of my students hit me with uh, in late July of this year, and they were running into a situation to where they had a hose lay going up the side of a hill, it was about 3,300 feet long. They wanted to supply a one-inch nozzle, and it was about a 600-foot elevation gain. So if we use the picture in the desktop as an example and just forget about the helicopter and say that down here we want to put an engine and pump a hose lay all the way up to the top of this hill with a one inch nozzle the problem that they were running into is that the pressures obviously with the head pressure and then the friction loss of flow and the nozzle pressure was going to rapidly exceed that of the capability of the hose to be done safely so the call that I got was, hey, you know, how can we do this? Can we run a parallel line? And, and a parallel line would have worked if you needed to get greater flow um, and still keep the friction loss low. But the one thing that I always cover in my class is that you cannot eliminate the head pressure. So in that case here, if we go back and we look at our, our little uh, uh, engine ca pumping calculator that I've got here. Uh, this is what we had. So 30 gallons a minute, inch and a half hose. Uh, we see the coefficient of the hose is 35, 3,300 feet. PSI required for the friction loss uh, for 30 gallons a minute is 103. Okay. Uh, over here, this was the elevation. Pump elevation was at 4,564. The target was 5,164. So that's 600 foot elevation game with 260 PSI of head pressure. So, right here you can see that the total single engine pressure was 464. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, the, uh, the single engine by itself is really going to have a hard time pumping to that capacity. Um, so, as you see, I'm calling for two engines over here, just a little over two engines. Um, there is a way to do this, and it's something that I didn't talk about, but structure, once again, back to structure, everything comes back to structure, is that you can use what we call high-rise hose. Now, high-rise hose is really like this stuff here, and uh, DuraPak is something that I've paid quite a bit of attention to. A lot of uh, structure companies uh, in your metro areas use the DuraPak because uh, it's a it's uh, fairly lightweight. Uh, however, it really folds down nice and compactly for either hose pack. So it was originally designed to see here for hose pack use. So DuraPak folds tightly for small places, hose beds, and high-rise packs. Um, and because it's so durable, many uh, departments have selected Durpak as their frontline attack hose. So here's some of the features of the um, the Durapak. Um, down here, the inch and a half, its service test pressure is 400 psi, and its proof is 800, and then it's got a burst rating of 1200 psi. For 50 feet of hose, you're looking at 20 pounds. So for 100 foot, it's probably going to be closer to 40 pounds. Um, a lot of people might be thinking, well, my God, that's a lot. I don't want to be carrying that up the hill. The, the idea is that you're not carrying it up the hill. You use this at the base of the hill where your highest pump discharge pressures are likely to be encountered, and you connect that to your, uh, to your engine. String out about 300 feet, um, and I'll show you how this, this works. So if we go back to our... Um, our model here. You've got, let's say that this is an engine here, you got another engine over here, you're going to pump from here, series into another engine to boost the pressure up to, let's say, 460. So, roughly uh, 230 out of each engine boosted, you got 460 coming out of the end of the hose. Uh, the hose's uh, service is 400. Easily not a problem for the DuraPak. And then what you can do is you string out 300 feet of hose so by the time it gets there what it works out to be is that um, if you're flowing 20 gallons a minute you figure that for 300 feet of elevation gain that's about 134 psi of head pressure subtract the 134 from the 406 you've got 272 well within 
the service test range of the Durapack hose. If you go up to the 30 gallons a minute, it takes you to 464 PSI total uh, pump discharge required. And subtracting again 300 foot of elevation from that, you come up with 330. Again, well within the realm of the Durapack hose. It's going to be pricey stuff, but if you need to get water up there, start thinking high rise hose. They also have in here the uh, the 8D, which is a little bit lighter. You can get, it can go down to one inch size hose um, with inch and a half couplings and whatnot. But um, that's for 50 feet, so you're looking at 26 pounds per 100 feet roughly. I you can get it in any color. The uh, the difference here is that. Uh, it's usually designed more for your industrial. It's it's not necessarily designed to uh, be neatly and tightly folded into hose beds and packs. So that's why I'm going to suggest that uh, if you really want some uh, capability, start looking at your Dura Pack from All American Hose. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I got. Any questions? Um, give me a holler. Bye bye.